Well, we can't stay long because I'm taking the kids out caroling. We've got a present for you. Open it so we can see. No kidding. Here, you help me over here, okay? Should, uh, should we rip the paper? Sure, go ahead. Here, you help me. Oh, hey. It's to go with the other one we gave you. Yeah. It's his friend. Everybody needs a friend, even big superheroes, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess they do. Do you like it? Best present I got all year. Thanks. I just brought him over. It was all their idea. Daddy, hmm? can he come sit in with us? Yeah, that'd be a great idea. Come on. Ah, uh, that's nice. It's nice to be asked. Uh, but I can't. I, I got plans for tonight. What kind of plans? A big party or something? Excuse me, this is, uh... You know, I haven't had a visitor until now, all of a sudden. Todd. Hey. Oh, you finally found a space, huh? Um, yeah. Cord invited me to go with the kids to Carol and then uh, uh, St. James. We're gonna have a real good time, aren't we, guys? Yeah, you bet. She gave us two big presents, and she said there's going to be more under her tree. <laughs> great. Right, Blair? <laughs> That's right. That's great. Hey, uh, Blair, did you see what the kids got for Todd for Christmas? No. That, that's, um, it's nice, Todd. I like it. Yeah, I like it, too. I like it a lot. Blair? Hmm? Did you bring Todd a present, too? It's Christmas. Eve, and where in the world is David? Okay, Sam, make me happy and make it fast. What did you find out that can't wait? Plenty. Well, come on, tell me, what is it? It's got something to do with Barbara Jones, right? Irene Clayton's friend. Got it. Okay, Barbara raised Irene, and Victor's son is her own, and? And I have all the rest of the information. Everything you ever wanted to know about Barbara Jones and her life. May I? I work for you, Mr. Vickers. The file is yours now. Help yourself. I told you it was only a matter of time. Give me enough rope and I find what I'm looking for. This is it. You did it. We aim to please. Yes, Sam, after all this time, nobody could find the answer, but you did it. This is just what I'm looking for. This is just what I'm looking for. Uh, listen, Sarah, you know better than to ask somebody if somebody else got him a present. Cord, it's all right. It's all right. It's no problem, Cord. Besides, Blair already gave me a present. And do you want to know what it was? Yeah. A uh, Todd. Well, she drove you here to visit me with your dad. And that's the best. That's what Christmas is all about. And church, and singing, and Santa Claus. Yeah, that's right. And you guys better hit the road, otherwise there won't be time left for caroling. Are you coming to church? No, Sarah. I don't belong to St. James. Well, that's okay. You should come and see us in the play. You know, I'd, I'd love to, but uh, I got stuff I gotta do. But I'll be thinking about you guys. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I love you, Wally. <laughs> yeah. Me too, Sarah. Okay, kids, come on. We're out of here. Let's go. Bye. Merry Christmas, Bye. Todd. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Bundle up. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas. Goodbye. You left this here. 
Thank you. Uh, Todd, I, um, I left this on purpose because I, I wanted to come back and, and say thank you for, um, well, for not saying anything about what happened, well, about the Christmas present. And I just think that maybe it's best for both of us if we pretend that it never happened. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Todd. Have we met? Thank you. Take care of yourself, Todd, okay? Somebody's got to. Merry Christmas. I'll spray it, I'll go check to see if dinner's ready. <laughs> yes, what? Doreen, it's David. I'm glad you're home because I'm coming over. No, you're not. Joe's here. Well, you're just going to have to get rid of him then. Good night. It's about the air, Dorian. What? The Lord air, the real air, and I can't wait. Clear the decks, I'm coming over. You can't, all right, I'm... Won't be long. Who was that? Um, nobody. Uh, well, actually, it was somebody, an old friend, an acquaintance who uh, was calling to wish me Merry Christmas. <laughs> Is there something wrong? I guess it brought up a lot of feelings, emotions for me, you know, about old friends and times and how quickly it all goes, Joe, and and you really, you can't get it back. I'm not sure I know what you mean. This is going to be the first Christmas you'll have spent without your family. I mean, does that feel right to you? I am where I want to be. Darling, you are so close with your family. Maybe you should be with them. No. Darling, how about this? Just, just spend a little while with them. Uh, an appearance at the church. Sweetheart, your mother has been through so much. Make her happy. And if you go, you can see Cassie and tell me how she looks and what people are saying about her and Andrew. Darling, go. Please. For my sake. <laughs> Or something else, you know that? And the answer is yes, I'll go. <laughs> I'll do whatever you say, always. But just the service. Just the service. <laughs> oh, you really are amazing. God, there's nothing you won't do for people you love. Here, so I'll drink this. There, that's what I need. Exactly. Thank you. Not that I mind the concern, but I'm doing very well. I have moments, yes, and when they, they're over, I feel great. I can't help but feel responsible for this. For my Hodgkin's? Not your Hodgkin's, Let me be for the my, first. my problems. I feel responsible for my problems. They're my fault, and it's not making things any easier no, no, for my you. My illness and your problem are two different things. Let's just keep it that way. I'll get it. Do you want some more water? Can I we finish this? Vicki. Hi, Cassie. I hope you don't mind my just dropping uh, in. No, of course not. Thank yeah. you. I, I knew that someone was Vicky, here. It's Vicki, Andrew. Yes. Yes. How are things going? Hello, darling. Are you all right? Oh, yeah. A little short of breath. So I'm fine now. Sloan, wouldn't you like to rest for a while? Lie yes, down? Yes, you should go back to landfill. No, that would be been, good. It would make us all feel over better. this. I promised you I would tell you when things got bad. This was nothing. Are you sure? Yes. And I can't rest. Who could rest when things are going this way for you? It's it's not even something that you need I to be involved in. I cannot and Dad. will not stand by and do nothing. You need me. McNamara planned this meeting for tonight. You need a defense. They're probably plotting against your position at this very moment. But how can you do this to Andrew, Elizabeth? Oh, Andrew's already done it to himself with Marty Saybrook. But shouldn't we at least stand by our minister? Not at this price. 
At what price? These are lies, pure and simple. Our church is at stake, Renee. Ah, Alexandra, join us, dear. <laughs> Oh, isn't this beautiful? The only thing that I see at stake here is the life and work of a deeply religious and moral man who was attacked once before falsely. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because St. James's good name was damaged not so very long ago and by Andrew and falsely accused or not, we cannot afford to go through that again. Oh, I agree. Our church leaders must be an example. We cannot afford even the slightest hint of impropriety. We? Uh, uh, and who is this we? We, me, us, the members of the church. I see. And, and how long have you lived in Landview? No one saw you inside St. James until you married Asa. And what are you doing here anyway? Why is she here? Not my invitation. As chairman, I have asked dear Alexandra if she would be willing to serve on the vestry. What? Well, just until we have an election. I mean, there has been an empty space ever since Victoria Buchanan resigned because of her husband's poor health. So, I made the appointment. And I was kind enough to accept. Now, there's just one thing needed to ratify dear Alexandra's position, and that is for someone to, uh... Oh, I second. Oh. Really? Well, I object. So do I. Noted, but past. Well, Alexandra, you are now a member of the vestry of St. James's Church. Welcome. Thank you. I am so deeply moved. Yes, dear, I'm sure we're all looking forward to hearing your views. Really? Well, good, because I, I just happened to write a little acceptance. Yes, speech. however, we are expecting the rest of our congregation before long, and we do need to move on this matter as soon as we possibly can. Oh, absolutely. I'm sure you all agree. Shall we demand Andrew Carpenter's full resignation, effective immediately? Uh, I believe we're ready to vote. Shall we, ladies? All those in favor of Andrew's resignation, hands please. Yes, and those opposed? I will inform Andrew. Yes, well, I resign. So do I. I will not be part of this travesty. This is nothing short of a lynching. Majority rules, you know. It's the American way. They're not very sportsmanlike, are they? Oh, they'll get over it. And they won't resign either. Well, wh what happens now? Well, we strike while the iron is hot. When Andrew arrives, I will ask for his resignation. Tonight? Isn't that just a little heartless? Oh, Norma, darling, there's no time like the present. And the whole congregation will be here. I think we should start the new year off fresh. Oh, Alexandra, I do like the way you think. I'm going to enjoy working with you. <laughs> that, my friend, is Texas mead. The things men swallow to keep our women happy. Well, knowing you, Pa, Alex has had to swallow her share. Where is she, anyway? Oh, in a church at a meeting. What kind of meeting? How do I know? She's involved with this uh, vestry thing. They're trying to kick Reverend Carpenter out of the pulpit. They say he's carrying on with a saber gal. What? And you let her go? Let her? Did you ever try and stop a hurricane? And what if he is carrying on with her? Pa, he isn't. Look, I heard all those rumors in Tidewater yesterday. Upset the whole house. Oh, and a Merry Christmas to you. That well, couldn't have happened at a worse time. What, because of the holiday? No, because of Sloan. Pa, he's a sick man. Sloan, you should be glad he's sick after everything he's done to you. Sloan's dying, Pa. Everybody's dying, Clint. I know men like him that hung around for years. 
Everybody tiptoeing around, afraid of the moment when the shoe's gonna drop. And even if Sloan dies, I wanna tell you something. The damage's already done. You will still be alone, and he is the reason. He will be dead, Clint. You and Vicky will still be divorced. I am beginning to wish that I had never resigned from that vestry board now. It wouldn't have made any difference, and this isn't even going to be a problem. Elizabeth McNamara gets us off her chest, and then we all have a nice Christmas Eve service. Andrew, I would not be so sure. I have been to those meetings. Elizabeth can be very persuasive and very forceful. Yes, in my case, do you remember? She had the board of the university screaming for my resignation. It was just right after I became the president of the university. Don't you remember? I mean, I was falsely accused just as you're being falsely accused. Didn't stop her. I got it. Cassie, hey, Virginia. Huh? Everyone's in the living room. Thank you, Cassie. Sloan. Sure, Dan. We've both come from church, Andrew. Really? So, how did the meeting go? Not well. The vote went against you. What? Three to two, Vicky. But how is that possible? There aren't five members on that board. Since your resignation, Elizabeth McNamara has taken it on herself to appoint a temporary replacement. Who? Landview's latest, newest social watchdog, the very upstanding, very correct, Mrs. Alex Buchanan. Oh, good God. They'll be asking you to step down, Andrew. When? They have to confront him face to face. I'm sure that Elizabeth has already written her speech, and she's likely to corner you when you come in the church. What, tonight? Easy, easy. What, that, that's preposterous. Okay, 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 everybody, just relax, please, please. I can handle this. How? I'll do what I have to do. I'll go down there, I'll face it head on. I'll go over to the church. Fine. I'll go down there with you. So will we. Dad, no. I can't let you go through this alone. I'm not going to go through it alone. Got Cassie. It's my fight. And I really don't want to cry. Why not? Don't argue with me. I really don't. I don't want to upset you any further than you already are. When there's something to tell you, I promise I will call. Let's go down and straighten this out. You ready? Yeah, ready. Let me get rid of her. Thank you. As board members, we'll be there with them. We will. 